Hey there, I thought I would do a kind of a show and tell video on this amplifier. I did an article on my website a few years ago showing this. I built this actually many years ago, probably more than 10 for sure. <laughs> and um, the thing that makes this special is that it has tubes in here on the input stage where really these days that's where you want to have the tubes on the input stage because that gives the effect that you're looking for tubes on the output stage are not as efficient so i'll go into that a little bit more i know i'm probably losing a few people right now what's an input stage john what's the output stage well it's the first part of the it's kind of like the pre-amplifier inside the amplifier the part that takes the small signal and boosts it so in this amplifier tubes do that and I'm going to crack it open and we'll have a look. It's in rough shape. Okay, it's quite dirty, dusty. It's been kicking around for all those years because I really don't use it. Uh, that's what it is when you build things. Now, I made this all from scrap aluminum. And uh, it was quite a project. I can tell you that. The top here is a piece of 1 8 inch thick aluminum that had a bend on it that I picked up from a, you know, it was laying beside the dumpster actually on a job site. That's those commercial projects, man. They waste a lot of material. So I picked it up and I brought it home. I think the thing was about that long and I got this piece out of it and I'm taking that off and I'm going to pick it up and show it to you. But I want to get this cord out first hang on i don't want to break it okay so here's the top you can see that all right it's just a piece of aluminum and i cut these slots in here more or less for decoration with the router i made a uh, a template and i routed them out uh, same thing over here except i did these on the table saw because you can actually see the table saw cuts in the end and the overall shape that I, I just freeform this. All right, I just uh, kind of did it on the fly. Actually, I'm gonna take this switch off. I made this switch that's on the front here as well. Because if you're into making stuff, you're, you're into making stuff. So I'll just take this off. Bear with me, okay? I know, no close-ups yet, we'll see. I'll put in some pictures. All right, for those of you that need, absolutely need, there you go. I got that free. All right, so here we have this. This is just a pair of uh, countertop bolts that I, I attach the smaller number eight bolts to, and then I epoxy it right onto the front, and that holds on this homemade switch that I have here, and it's just a regular switch on the back that's put in, a push-button switch on and off, and I glued a piece of uh, a quarter inch hardboard that's cut out in a round circle and put on there. I glued it right on there to make the switch bigger. And then the ring here is actually one of those pill bottles uh, that uh, I cut the top part, the locking part off. And uh, it has an LED inside the box. I think two actually, one on each side that lights that ring up when you turn the amplifier on. So, you know, you're talking half a day's work just here in the switch, all right? So here's the inside. <laughs> it has some dust falling out of here. And it's shameful how I've let this go. But you know what, it probably still works. Well, I would need to put a new cord on because at one point I needed a cord for something and so I just cut this one off and I used it. You can see here, but I can put a new cord on. I'll get this going again one of these days. But here's, the, here's what I'm talking about. All right, here are the tubes. Okay, these are 12 AX7 tubes, which are highly regarded for this type of thing. For the input, to handle that small signal that's coming from say, your CD player or whatever, okay? The line level signal. These are the output 
transistors that I'm talking I was talking about earlier. This is what this is what provides the power, the 10 watts. This is a 10 watt amplifier. 10 watt per channel, class A. Okay? So these provide the power and these ones are, are interesting too because I got these out of a, a 70s vintage Pioneer receiver I think it was. So these are NEC uh, TO3 package transistors, so, so vintage gear. But everything else is brand new, including the tubes, which are, I think, Electroharmonix, so the Russian brand, okay? So, yeah, this is what it looks like. This is the power supply down here, and the power supply for this is kind of interesting because, well, anything that has tubes in it needs a higher voltage to, to run the tube, so it has actually has three separate, four actually, four, three, three separate power supplies inside here. The one on this side, the big one, is for this channel. The one on this side, uh, the big one, is for this channel. And then there's a small transformer in the middle that gives the higher voltage to energize the, uh, I'm not a tube guy. I don't know a lot about tubes. But I know you need a, a grid voltage or something. And that's what that small transformer in there is. So this thing was a departure from what I was normally doing at the time, because this was uh, another guy that I knew made these, designed this amplifier and made these boards. And I bought a pair off them and I built the amplifier. It used to have feet on the bottom, but I just had them glued on with silicone because you get to the end of a project where you spent like a month working on cutting out aluminum parts and, and putting them together. And you just want to get it done for a, you know, a quick finished picture. So I had these feet, this is the last one that was on there. I was stuck on with, uh, with silicone when they should have been screwed on. So anyway, that's another plate on the bottom, you can see. And on the back there are a couple of binding posts and a couple of input terminals, neatly done. And these heat sinks that I have here are actually I don't know if you've ever been in, of course you have, a commercial building and walk through the doorway, you look down, you see this chunk of aluminum, it's called a threshold, across the doorway. Well, that's what this is. These are pieces of threshold that were cut off because I was a door installer for a long time and I would have tons of this stuff, okay? And this is one of the things I did with it. I made the heat sinks for this and they're fastened to this aluminum angle. Yet again, another piece of scrap that I picked up and the output transistors bolt right down to that. So the heat goes through this angle, goes up into these uh, heat sinks, and then it goes into the case as well because I've got a very good uh, thermally conductive uh, um, connection between the heat sinks and the case. So everything gets warm because that's what class A amplifiers do. And it works. Well, it worked the last time I used it anyway. So if you want to know more details about this, there's a link in the description. I'll take you to the article I mentioned, or I wrote about this on my website. There's a schematic there. It doesn't have the component values though. Uh, that was kind of a restriction that the guy that designed the amplifier had. He didn't want to publish the, he, he published the schematic, but not the actual component values, uh, thinking that somebody would rip it off which is likely, okay, because it's a very well-designed amplifier. So you can go there and check that out and see how it works with tubes.